Well, good evening. I trust that you're doing well today. And um, on this recording, I just want to bring to your attention the, um, the health benefits of some of the plants that we use here, right, in our country, in the native countries. And um, I was doing um, several different bush tea on yesterday with the five, five different types of plants on yesterday. And um, I want to encourage you to take in your bitters, take in your bush teas. Let's go back to the bush. Let's go back to the bush. Okay? And um, one of the first things um, I did yesterday was um, the allspice. We have the allspice. The unripe berries and leaves of the, of the plant. This was used to make medicine. They used it to make medicine. Allspice is also used for indigestion, um, dyspepsia, intestinal gas, abdominal pains, um, also heavy menstrual periods, vomiting, diarrhea, f and even fever, cold, high blood pressure, and diabetes, and, def and definitely obesity. This plant is also used for emptying the bowels. Um, for persons who um, does not go to the bathroom regular, it doesn't give you a false rush, but it helps to break down um, 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 intestinal gas and also feces in the stomach. And um, you may, if you go to the bathroom, you realize you go, but it's not a full movement, it's just probably a little piece or it's not as much as it should be for the timing that you have not used the bathroom, okay? And so the second one we used was um, uh, the, the Kamalami. Kamalami. I don't know if you remember the Kamalami. Kamalami, boy, it's an old plant. It's an old plant. Remember the guy that we used to call, I mean, they used to call him, um, he used to be on the television on Deadness one time. They used to call him the old bear man. <laughs> and he used to sing that song, get your Kamalami and you make some tea. And, she, and so Kamalami is a very, very strong plant. It also, commodity also has spiritual meanings as well. It helps to break even um, demonic curses from over your life. Um, it also helps even with relationship. But anyway, we're gonna go into a different phase of that and you're gonna look that part of yourself. I don't want you to get spooky over this stuff, okay? And so, um, but, but but the truth be told, Kamalami was used for um, persons in relationship who find themselves always arguing and, and becoming bitter with one another. And, but it did it help to break in between some type of spiritual cycle in there but um let's move forward on the benefit um it, it does it, it, it helps to heal common ailments such as um stomach pain um even pain and cold and it's also beneficial for diabetes yeah diabetes to help many bohemian adult persons we have memory of being forced to, t to drink this this tree or to drink any bitter plant as sick children. All right? Kamalami also called, what they call it, gumbo limbo. It's known as the healing tree. All right? Um, the sap of it can be used to, to, to treat skin, skin reactions to other plants. All right? The third one was the five finger. The dry plant is used to make what? Medicine. They use it to make medicine. People take your... People take European five-finger grass for diabetes, from diarrhea and fever. Is the European five-finger grass is sometimes applied directly to the to the affected area? If you have a cut for swollen mouth, swollen gum, toothache, and even heart heartburn. All right, it's also used to um to treat open wounds by helping to draw out the tissues that's in it or the infection. All right, my fourth one, the fever grass. How does fever grass work? Okay, fever grass, also known as lemongrass, it helps to grow, it helps to take, it helps take care of um, bacteria, yeast infection, and it also, it also can, it also contains substances that, that are thought to um, relieve pain and swelling. It helps to reduce fever and prove level of sugar and cholesterol in the blood. It also stimulates the uterus and menstrual flow, all right? And it has a lot of antioxidant properties in it. It is filled with fiber. Um, it also helps with persons who deal with high cholesterol issues. If you take the fever grass, which is known as the um, lemongrass, 
and you have cholesterol issue, I promise you that is going to come down. And so I want to encourage you to take this tea. Um, I sent you the video earlier, and these are some of the health benefits as to why you should drink this. If you drink this as a medicine every day, I promise you, you may not even need to take vitamins. But I don't advise anyone who is taking any type of strong medication to take these things but not without advising um, your, your doctor, without letting your doctor know. Um, they are very good to take, but you don't want to cross it up, you know? And so um, it has a lot of fiber and helps to um, bring and reduce high cholesterol levels. The five one, Noni. What is Noni good for? Huh. Noni encourages weight loss. It, renew, it reduces inflammation, treats arthritis and gout, and, uh, and also it invigorates the blood. It speeds up the healing process of wounds, bruises, um, sprain, um, trauma, bruises in your body. You may have swelling or you may get hit from something and leave you with a bruise or maybe you may have been in a fight and you get beat up. <laughs> it helps to bring, <laughs> sorry, it helps to take away the bruise or the swelling, okay? Sorry. It also helps injuries. It heals internal, internal ulcers. It reduces 